Today on Michael error. Tunks, Fixing yeah. Roomba, Error 9, and the Circle Dance. Our old Roomba suddenly refused to move forward. It would only go backwards and in circles before finally stopping with Error 9. The solution is to replace the IR LEDs and the photo transistors in the bump sensor, which will cost you less than $6 in parts. Error 9. Start by removing the dustbin and the top cover. Flip Roomba over and remove the side brush and the bottom cover. Take out the battery and remove the bottom arched piece of the bumper. Flip Roomba upright and remove the top. Be sure to pull the bumper wire out of the groove before pulling off the top. Lift off the white circle and remove the button assembly. Remove the plastic film before unscrewing the circuit board. Disconnect the three wires and gently lift up on the circuit board, tilting it forward. Remove the two bump sensors at the front, each held in with two screws. Gently pry up on the clips to remove the top cover of the bumper sensor. Carefully remove the tiny spring and then pull up on the little circuit board at the same time as you lift the long black arm. To remove the small black cover that's clipped to the little circuit board, pry out on each side to release it. You have to forgive me, I haven't touched a soldering iron in years so I'm a bit rusty. Use the soldering braid to remove the old IR LED and photo transistor. Clip off the used portion of the braid and push in on the end to create more surface area for wicking away the old solder. Insert the new photo transistor with the round eye facing in and bend the wires to hold it in place. Use the soldering iron to heat the wire and the metal ring around the hole at the same time. Touch the solder to the tip of the iron and it should flow around the base of the wire. Repeat the process for the IR LED and make sure the round eye is facing the other eye on the photo transistor. When you're finished soldering, clip off the ends of the wires. Reassemble the bump sensor in reverse order. Use tweezers to reattach the tiny spring. Disassemble the other bump sensor. Desolder the old components. And solder in the new ones. You only need a tiny amount of solder to make a good connection. If you end up with a big glob, you can use the desoldering braid to suck off the excess solder. Reassemble and reinstall the bump sensors.
Reinstall the circuit board and reattach the three wires. Make sure the arched black bar is properly seated. This is easier to do prior to reinstalling the circuit board. Reinstall the plastic film and the button assembly, followed by the white circle. Clean the bumper windows and the round eyes on the arched black bar. Reinstall the top, making sure to guide the bumper wires back into the groove. Line up the bumper, flip the Roomba over, and install the bottom arched bumper piece. Clean the cliff sensors, insert the battery, and install the bottom cover and side brush before flipping Roomba upright. Reinstall the top cover followed by the dustbin and you're done. Check out the description below for a link to the parts you'll need. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.